Let's talk about winning progressive jackpots. Not about having better odds of winning them, but for certain sure winning them. Crazy? Crazy, right? But it's all true, which you can verify for yourself at your casino. Let me start with what you probably know, and then I'll switch to jaw-dropping information you most likely don't know because nobody knows it. But after this live stream, many of you will now be informed. Are you ready? Because here we go. What you may know, what you might have seen uh, at your casino for about one in a hundred slot machines is a win before, must hit by, or must the external must hit by progressives like this. Uh, you might have seen uh, this one's a, a win before, uh, and uh, you, if you zoom in, you can see it next to the progressive. It's an external label just before a slot machine's progressive jackpots. And that's what this is what it looks like. The basic strategy here is to let someone else play this slot machine to raise the progressive amounts. Someone who doesn't look up and notice this external win before label. And once one of these progressives gets close to its maximum limit, another word for win before, you get that you get on this machine, so the slot machine, and play it. Now, the important subtlety of this progressive jackpot strategy is deciding how close the jackpot needs to get to its progressive limit before you start playing. Starting too soon, start too soon, and your for certain sure progressive win is less profitable than you'd like. Wait too long and others watching and waiting, essentially doing the same thing you are, may decide to jump on it. There are teams of slots players at most casinos watching these external must hit by progressive jackpots. And if you, you are using this strategy, if you're a progressive jackpot specialist, you know that one big uh, uh, downside of using it to win progressives is you have to deal with lots and lots of competitors jockeying for position. Competitors that are willing to accept, accept less profit, maybe only a few hundred dollars just to win that major and prevent you from getting it. But I have a solution for that crowdfunding issue, which I'll share in a few moments. But first, we need to go over an important technique for using this progressive uh, a jackpot before becoming a jack progressive jackpot specialist. For each must hit by progressive slot machine, for each progressive jackpot on that slot machine, how much does the jackpot increase by for a certain, for a given amount of bankroll? For example, last night at El Dorado Reno in the high limit room, my old friend Steve and his friend, my new fan Doug, put a hundred dollar bill into a high limit slot machine and started making $12.50 bets. And for each bet, the progressive, the grand progressive jackpot increased by three cents. So let's do some probability ma uh, mapping. Oh, here's another um, uh, a win before. This one's a 10,000, the other one is 500. We'll come back to this. So $12.50 raised the grand by three cents. If and so for the whole $100, it raised the, the grand by 24 cents, right? So it's eight times $12.50 is $100. So eight times three cents is 24 cents. All right. But if you were to put in $10,000, add two zeros, one, two, add, yeah, add two zeros to that 24. Uh, did I, one, two, did I do it right? No, three zeros. Uh, one, two. Oh, uh, it would be, it would raise it by, did I do the math wrong? I think I got the, the math wrong. So a, a thousand dollars would two be 240. And, um, uh, and so let's see, it would be 240. And so 10,000 would be 24. Okay. Math as we go. Uh, and so what does this mean? Uh, let's see here. Right. I got my zero off by one. Uh, how close does it need to be to this 
win before amount? How much does the uh, progressive that's climbing $9,671.61 uh, need to be to 10000 in order for you to make a profit by going over 10000 Uh, and so you would need, and I have to uh, fix this because my numbers are wrong to go from $9,671 to 10 K where you're only make putting in or raising this amount by 24 cents, uh, uh for every hundred dollars you spend, you'll need 137 grand. So it's got to be really close <laughs> and it's not profitable. Um, and so I think I should have, uh, let's see. So uh, uh, this, this number is not correct. Uh, we need, I need to recalculate that. Um, it would be 9,980 or something like that in order for you not to have to, to raise it up uh, uh, 24 cents per one hundred dollars. Um, let's see, twenty-four cents per one hundred dollars, uh, um, and and ten thousand uh, dollars. I was saying was uh, uh, twenty-four dollars. So yeah, uh, this would need to be it would need to get to nine thousand nine hundred and seventy-five dollars. Uh, come on, we need to be at that amount, and then you would break even. So it's got to be really close. Now, I am using the example of a different machine where the grand went up by three cents for every $12.50 bet. This machine may actually go up more. It may go up 30 cents. It may go up 12 cents. You have to actually look at every machine and see what is going to be uh, the amount that it goes up. And for each progressive, uh, there was one machine that I, I was checking and it, uh, it went up the same amount for the grand and the major, which I had never seen before, but I guess it, 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 ex, um, exception to every rule. Okay, so that's how close you have to be. Let me talk about something else. Uh, so we, we, we've discussed this. Um, uh, so how close do you need to be uh, to, 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 to break even. Okay. We've done that. Um, but if you can get it there, if you can get it closer than nine, 9,975, if you can get it to, uh, half that, uh, let's see that 9,900 and, um, $87 and 50 cents, then your profit would be five grand because you'd only need to spend five grand to win 10 grand. Okay, you following the math here? Okay, uh, it's a sure thing, uh, except there are crowds of slot stalkers watching every one of these external must hit buy slot machines at your casino. At Atlantis Reno, there are 14 such machines and five of them are in the high limit room. That's about 1% of all slot machines at Atlantis Reno, which isn't many. Now. How do, how do we get around this nasty competitor issue for the 14 slot machines your casino might have with the external must-hit buy? Well, here's my solution. Use internal must-hit buys. Uh, I'm, I'm going to show you low-limit machines first, and then I'll show you high-limit high machines. So internal must-hit buys. What do, what do I mean by that? Um, uh, at Atlantis Reno, something like 20% of slot machines have this win before, must hit by, must pay by, not as an external label, but as a progressive maximum limit located in the game rules. Uh, and nobody knows this. Uh, and, and this is, you know, this is what nobody knows. And it's in the game rules instead. So here, let me show you a few examples from popular low limit slot machines you have at your casino. Here's Treasure Gates. Um, I'm sorry if you're on a small device, uh, uh, a mobile device instead of a desktop. Let me see if I can maybe help you with that uh, and make it a little bit bigger so you can read the numbers off here. I want you to be able to do that. Can, can, is that a little better? Okay. So, uh, and 
there's some subtleties here. I'm not going to be spending an hour on this like I do for Slots Labs. Uh, in fact, we talk about it every week, um, uh, but basically giving you that idea. So this Treasure Gates has one, two, three, four, five uh, uh, progressives. It's not labeled on the exterior uh, uh, of the machine. It's labeled in the game rules. And yes, uh, the top tier here, it's currently at 5,000 uh, 5, uh, and it goes as high as 20,000. Uh, so, you know, this is, it's not time. It's a long ways to go. You need it to be very close to this, depending on how much each progressive goes up by when you spend a hundred bucks, then you'll know. Uh, this one is, uh, the limit is 2,000. The limit for this one is 1,000. The limit for this is 400 and the limit for this uh, is also 400. Uh, so there, none of these are close, but this is just a matter of looking around. And I'll talk about how long it takes for these to climb because uh, we know how to do that too uh, if you're in Slots Labs. So let's uh, look at uh, Olympus Awakening. Now, I'm trying to show you here uh, uh, the um, uh, different ways it can be presented. Um, here it's presented like this. Here it's, it's basically kind of wordy. Uh, and I'll show you a couple others so you know what to look for in the game rules and spot it. Um, I would, I would rec highly recommend that you look on the machines that you've been playing forever. Look on the machines you're most popular with and just see if it's there. And then, you know, decide whether you want to make use of it. Okay. So uh, uh, internal must hit buys. Um, uh, and let's see that, that was, tre that's, we, we did treasure gates, uh, and, um, uh, five progressives. Those are the limits, uh, Atlantis awakening, Olympus awakening, excuse me. Uh, and it's high, it's progressive limitations. Uh, notice how the limits look a little different. I'm trying to show you the, in the game rules how it might be displayed. Uh, and here's yet another way uh, that's kind of wordy. And so you can spot them because there's like eight, 10 pages sometimes. And you want to, I want to show you what to, what to look for, make it easy on you. So um, uh, I'm trying to show you the various ways. Uh, and, and that's an, yet another one, but notice on this slot machine that the limits are completely ridiculous, just shy of a million for the grand, which is currently at 10,000. What the heck? Somebody probably won that grand yesterday and it started over at 10 K. It's got a long time to go long time to get up to 999,000. Uh, and it's, it might not be worth your time, but there's others that are worth your time. Uh, this is cha-ching. Yeah, have you played cha-ching? It's kind of like not a real machine, not a video machine exactly. It's a video slot machine, but it sort of choose packages and there's no reels, uh, video or otherwise. Um, so this one's currently at 6,000. Uh, 134, and it and 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 it's only one progressive, and it has a maximum progressive value of night just one penny short of twenty thousand. Okay, uh, that's much more reasonable. Yeah, it might take a few months, uh, possibly less than a year, maybe, uh, to grow by another thirteen thousand eight hundred dollars. Uh, and for um, this example, uh, Super Buffalo, it's even more uh, reasonable. All seven jackpots on this Super Buffalo slot machine have maximum progressive values. But let's look closer at them. Um, I, this is kind of small, so let me bring everything in for you. Okay, so this is Super Buffalo. Uh, 11,005, 1,030, 209, 73, 47, 20, and 11. So uh, they, these, you know, the Super, Grand, Ultra, Mega, they don't use those words in some of these uh, uh, game rule pages. Uh, that anybody can access who's sitting at the machine. Um, but the top tier up here, 20,000, uh, 10,000, 1,000, 200, 70, 40, 20. Now you can look at these, you can put in a hundred bucks, you write down these numbers, put in a hundred bucks, bet the hundred bucks exactly, uh, and then see how much they went up by because each number will have a different value. Three cents, four cents, 12 cents, 13 cents, 20 cents. 
Uh, and usually the, the higher the progressive, the lower, the smaller amount, the smaller portion of the, that money you put in goes to increasing it. So uh, yes, you might have to wait six months uh, for the super to climb this high if nobody happens to win it by luck uh, beforehand. Uh, and if it, so, you know, when will it get to 20,000 and you check all, all of the, uh, super buffaloes at your casino. And maybe if you're near several of those casinos, you can find those, uh, machines at, at, at those other casinos and you can become a slot stalker. Only you're not, don't have any competition because nobody knows about this. Uh, and so that's how you would go about it. Uh, and one of those may have a progressive, which is close to its limit, and then you pay it. Now, the top tier super might take six months. It might take more, it might take a year. Uh, and we'll talk about some of the numbers in a moment uh, and where I get them from. Uh, but if you go further down here, every night, the mini would be one, five times on a busy night, the minor, Three times the major, I don't know, three times. You know, it, this is this is some these increase fast for a certain amount of money, uh, and where the tired progressives go slow, uh, and it could be one several times a night. So this is not about waiting six months. This is, hey, do you want an extra fifty dollars? Do you want an extra twenty dollars? Extra forty dollars? Extra seventy dollars? And maybe if you're lucky, a two hundred dollar win for certain by knowing where the numbers are at and playing it when it gets close. Uh, and no competition because nobody else is going to be there to take advantage of, you, of, of it uh, because only you know this because you watched this live stream or you took Slots Labs where I talked even more about this. So let's switch over to high limit. Those machines, a, a few examples uh, of, of them. Um, we're going to move on to that. So uh, uh, I'll show you these high limit examples with uh, maximum values, uh, progressive values in their game rules. You probably recognize uh, these slot machines. Uh, this is uh, Bao Zhao Zhao Fu, and yes, it has a lower, low limit version of this popular slot machine, uh, also having progressive limits which are much lower than these two. Uh, and this is an example where being a progressive specialist gets more important. The maximum, maximum limit on the low limit version, I'm showing the high limit version. The low limit version doesn't have a limit on the grand. It only has a limit on the major. And I will tell you, I don't have a photograph to show you. I have photographs, but I will just tell you the major progressive limit on the low limit version of this machine is $4,000. Uh, there's also Samurai 888. Again, it, this, the, there's limits on the low limit version of the Samurai 888, but this is the high limit version, which I'm uh, showing you, and it's ridiculous. They're, they're, not, they're, un, they're not reasonable. Uh, 800,000 on the grand is the limit, and it's currently at 42,000. Man, that's going to be 10 years, five years, four years, easily uh, before it ever, ever gets that high if someone doesn't happen to win it. In the meantime, but it is much more reasonable for the major. Uh, it's currently at fifteen hundred, and it goes as high as twenty five thousand. So that might be that might be by the by the end of two thousand twenty four. The end of two thousand twenty four. Uh, so there's that. Now, perhaps you enjoy Dragon Link, right? Or Dragon Cash. These are the high limit versions, but they also have them on the low limit versions. Uh, and so the number here is 1, $188,888.88. Now, these, there's some subtleties here. I'm, you're in the deep end of the pool now. I'm talking about the advanced course slots labs where I talk more about this. This 888 uh, and eight. Uh, 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 progressive limit and this 1,888,888 dollars and 88 cents these two uh, are not must hit buys i mean it looks like it is but it is not what are they instead they are caps 
Why? Because people love eights. They're lucky. Uh, and the casinos with Asian patrons love to show progressives locked, capped at these limits. Any play on the machine doesn't increase these progressives, but rather that increase is applied to the next progressive after it, after this one is won, uh, which will help bring it to the cap sooner. And so it goes. So again, this is advanced stuff, uh, which you may not be ready for if you're new to my channel, uh, but uh, <laughs> take a minute and think about it. Maybe watch the live stream again uh, and moving on. Okay, uh, so this is my slot strategy for progressive jackpots with an external label on the front of the machine or, or internal limits listed in the game rules. About 1% of the slot machines at your casino will have an external limit. And you and the other slot stalkers can fight over who gets to play it. But about 20% of the slot machines at your casino, including very popular machines you're likely already playing, have limits listed in the game rules. I've only shown you a few of them today. In my advanced slots course, I, I share many of them and their limits. Yesterday, I, I began to realize, uh, Saturday, Sunday, a week ago, I, I, I began to realize the importance of hunting down these limits in the game rules for you. Over an hour and a half on Wednesday, I checked 87 slot machines at Atlantis Reno and found another seven that I didn't know about. Eventually, I got through, uh, eventually, I want to get through all slot machines at Atlantis, Peppermill, and Legends Bay, the local casinos which I have asked for and gotten uh, permission to record. Uh, it takes it takes work though, uh, and it's and you know I have to go when not a lot of people are at the casino, uh, just so I can get on the machine and check. But it's for the benefit of my Slots Labs participants. The next offering uh, of my Slots Labs. Oh, I, uh, before I get to that, and this is get rag and cash, uh, and this is where you would go. Uh, I will show you more about that. The topics in Slots Labs, it's a six-week program, the, and we have weekly Zoom meetings, but there's also lessons and lots of homework. Uh, so foundation uh, is the first week combining slot strategies, because I don't talk about combining strategies in my uh, 30 Days to Play Slots Smarter and Win fundamentals course, uh, learning to walk away. That's so important that, yes, one week is devoted to it, but there's assignments every week to help you with that because it's like five times harder than winning. Uh, progressive must hit buys, which is also weekly um, uh, and because we're applying it to the Cachata data. Uh, and then there's uh, applying business skills to your slots play, like keeping records and deducting uh, expenses and working, uh, uh, being doing that to save you money. And the last week is about the future of slots and where everything's going. The re bonuses you get with the course, all these are free. You get seven gambling record secrets. It's a mini course that I put together. It includes the templates, Excel spreadsheet templates, as well as um, other versions of of uh, formatted in case you don't have Microsoft Office uh, at, at Microsoft Excel. Uh, that's a mini course. I, I use examples of my own records to uh, show you how they put in. Like I went on a cruise and, you know, how do you document the, what, the money you can get back from going on a cruise? What was free? What was you pay for? That sort of thing. Uh, of course, you need gambling deductions to do that, but you're <laughs> you're only one one big jackpot away from being able to do it if you can't already. You also get 30 days to play slots smarter and win if you don't already have it. Um, I I have am providing the Cachata data and analysis. Um, currently, I'm up to one thousand one hundred and four thousand nine hundred ninety eight hand pays, which I've collected in the last sixteen months with help. Uh, you also get a course community that's free, alumni community for after the course that's free. And I want to talk about the value of the Cachata data. So this is a, a, a game you may have heard of, River Dragons. It has an external must-hit buy, 5,000 for this uh, uh, jack, this this progressive. There's also another one for 500. The limit is 500. But uh, if we look at the Cachata data, it's only for hand pays. So it's $1,200 and more, uh, of which there, on two machines, there were 20 weight, 28 hand pays, and you can see that it caps at 5,000. 
it doesn't cap. That's the wrong term. It reached the must hit buy and it hit five times on two machines. Okay. When I separate out the two machines, because the Cachata data, which I'll show you, remind you in a second, has uh, the machine ID. Uh, the, the, the one that's, uh, I believe it's the one that was facing towards the entrance, uh, is, has a lot more has a lot more wins. These are just the progressive, not that line hits, uh, which you can separate out. Again, complication, complications. We talk about it in a simple manner in Slots Labs. So 5543, 5544. Uh, one, the first one got three uh, of those $5,000 progressives. The second one got two. And what I wanted to show you was how long did it take to get to this 5000 from the prior jackpot? This is in, ordered in time, one after the other, by machine. This was the previous time that progressive had hit down below 2000 but then it got all the way to 5000 how long did it take to do that 12 days how long did it take to go from from this $1200 win to this $5000 win here 44 days 22 days 90 days 91 days why the variation because it's different times of the year and more people are going to the casino and playing on these machines uh, and so there's a little bit of variation, but now you know how long you, had, you have to wait. Assuming, you know, it, it, it hit here and it hit here and hit there, and that's a random hit. But then how long does it take from that, that drop to climb to the, the must hit by 90 days, three months, if it's not 12 days or a month and a half. Okay. So slot slabs is there for you. Um, and I'll uh, take your questions. I want to point out, uh, so if you go to professorslots.com, you can go to courses, sign in. Uh, you, the, there you can go to Slots Labs. Uh, here is the course, which begins tomorrow. Uh, the next one begins in 14 hours. It has a, a 9 p.m. Eastern time meetings starting on Monday, October 9th. Uh, this is not, uh, 6 p.m. Pacific, uh, 14 hours. Sign up now. Classes uh, will begin tomorrow. Uh, right now, you you'll, you have uh, these things available to you uh, if you were to sign up, uh, and anybody can see the welcome uh, video, but, the, but you have to pay to see the rest of this. It is currently $249 or three easy monthly payments of $97, which is the rock bottom price uh, that I've decided upon, uh, decided upon. <laughs> knock yourself out. You know, everything we talked about today is gone over in detail and, and you'll have that for as long as I have the business, you'll have the Zoom meetings are recorded and then uploaded so you'll be able to watch those again and again as you get better at this okay so let us return to here and there right uh, uh did i show you did i show you the cachata data um here it is at Cachata, Louisiana. Um, it's useful for your casino, uh, for the progressives. Um, it's useful for you if you go to Louisiana for all of the hand pays. Uh, and this is what they look like. There's the date, the timestamp. Uh, this is a line hit, line hit, line hit, line hit, line hit. Progressive, because you can tell it doesn't end in zero, zero. Uh, it has the game name, and there's some abbreviations, whether it's progressive, multi-denomination, that sort of thing. What is the lowest denomination on a multi-denomination machine? That's part of the, the Louisiana gaming re uh, regulations. And if you click on this last one, it will show you in the casino where it is. Oh, look, highly visible. <laughs> Um, and so you can move around uh, in that. Okay, so let's go to questions. And and see what your questions are. Um, <clears throat> I also want to thank uh, uh, Larry uh, for his donation of uh, $250. 
it is very much appreciated. Also, Steve, last these are both from yesterday. Steve uh, um, gave a two hundred dollar donation. Thank you so much. Uh, it's difficult times financially uh, making my way in, in Reno lately. Uh, um, you have you guys um, uh, more than any other slots channel that I know of. You have places where you want to spend your money, and and so uh, you know it, it it is helpful to to um, yeah it, it is great for, it is great for them. Also, I want to thank uh, April. Uh, for becoming a fan. Uh, that's a member of my YouTube community. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, and also RVR Worker One uh, for becoming a fan as well. Uh, that's a small monthly fee. Uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, and uh, let's see, we have some hellos uh, early on. Uh, uh, Lois Tisdale, uh, it's Lois and Dave, they're family friends. They're in Canada and Ontario. It's rainy and it's also Canadian Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, so happy Thanksgiving in Canada. Uh, and um, let's see. What's the next comment? Uh, make sure you ask your comments. Uh, um, Labston. Thank you and good morning. Uh, let's see. We have Mary Ellen from Rhode Island. I happen to know. Uh, welcome, welcome. Uh, good to have you here. Uh, thank you to my moderators uh, for uh, uh, for helping out moderating. Uh, it's lots of fun. Who has his own channel? It's, uh, it's very specific to the local area of northern North uh, North Dakota or North. North Carolina, um, uh, is a moderator. Thank you so much. Uh, Cheryl is here from cold Milwaukee, um, uh, and Texas Tootsie, another moderator. Uh, um, uh, her name is Jan. Hi, Jan. <laughs> um, and, uh, and Johnny was here an hour before, uh, the, the live stream started and came in mid conversation. Uh, yeah, we start fast and hit hard. Um, uh, you're, you're always welcome to review it again. Um, <laughs> give me a minute. Uh, uh, and uh, Susan, Susan, uh, who's taken slot slabs and has lots of positive things to say about it. Um, and apparently that's a little sunshine that she's getting in Michigan. Uh, Johnny, yeah, sorry, we, we hit it hard and, and it's fast paced. Uh, um, <laughs> uh, you can always rewatch it uh, later. Um, I make these available forever, uh, but it's much better experience if you're here live. It's a community event uh, and watching it later. Uh, well, there's good information, but you also have to sort of work through uh, stuff. So did anybody notice the cat? Did anybody notice the cat up here? Somebody uh, keep an eye on that cat if it looks like it's going to attack me and kill me, John, or something. Uh, Minnesota 3, uh, good morning. Uh, Shawana, uh, good morning. There are still, Shawana, there are still some seats left in Slots Labs. Uh, if, that, if this is the one that you were talking about, you wanted to take. Uh, Steve is here. Hi, Steve. Uh, and I, I like how Steve always says, uh um uh, you know welcome to the uh, hello to the moderators as well it's very uh, nice of you to say that um and johnny says uh fell, so apparently johnny is in missouri uh and i hope you enjoy your riverboat casinos yeah yeah uh but charlie we know uh, okay my cat's on the move okay <laughs> uh i that's i you saw him before he did that, Charlie. Yes, um, you. It's it. It takes a lot for those numbers to go up. That's why it takes years. This is the. It's the progressive is a draw. It's a marketing strategy by the casino. But we can still take advantage of the casino by knowing how much it goes up by by putting a hundred dollars in, and then we have that information for that slot machine. But it could be anywhere from 30 cents to 20 cents, the smaller the jackpot is. Uh, and then we know, we, we know at what point would it be profitable for us? And it's just so much later than anybody else realizes. Oh, it's 9,900 and it's uh, uh, going to hit at 10,000. I'm going to spend my hundred bucks. 
and it goes up three cents. What the heck? I mean, not three cents, like 24 cents, less than a dollar. Okay, $99 to go. <laughs> uh, um, and so, yeah, uh, it, yeah, he is a handsome kitty. Um, now he's sitting in the sun, um, uh, letting himself uh, uh, push open the shade so that the sun falls directly on my leg. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, exactly, Charlie. But now we know everything about it. And so we can, when that, you know, when it gets to be as close as we know it would be, we can decide what our profit would be. Again, if, you know, a slots player who is a progressive jackpot, uh, you know, goes after that strategy, they're a specialist. Um, yeah, the lower the amount, the faster it'll hit. And, you know, you can get a couple of minors and minis every night, maybe one major. You know, we like that, right? Take a photo of your friend and stuff like that. I knew it was going to do that. You know, just enjoy yourself. But if you want to go for the grand, then you might have a six months, a year, three years, depending on, you know, if it's high limit, it could be quite a while. Okay. Uh, <laughs> a, a serenity. Very frustrating when you need a potty break, but you're soon close uh so close to that must hit by jackpot yeah yeah uh and magpie 11 uh who's in southern california sometimes uh las vegas i see teams of slots players on this trip all the time they target regal riches and ocean magic yeah uh advantage play slots i think i found a regal riches by the way um uh, uh, magpie yesterday uh, and um, I was like, "Oh, finally, there it is!" And then I'm, but but I was there to to look at the um, uh, uh, game rules for progressive limits. Um, but now I know where to go back to. Uh, and and Atlantis has that, and also a, a couple of um, Ocean Magic, which is an advantage play, which we could talk about if that's what you're interested in uh, in Slots Labs. Um, Chris H. Hello, Chris H. Uh, good morning from Sam's Town, Shreveport. Uh, and Chris is, uh, uh, Jan's talking to Chris about being headed to Cachata today. Uh, have a good trip, uh, Jan. I enjoy being there with you, and we've had photos, uh, selfies together there. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, Magpie has a tip uh, when I need a break. I ask a slot attendant to watch my machine, and most of the time they will. Some places will actually lock it, and sometimes the uh, lock is on a timer, and so you, they give you like 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, and if you don't come back, then it unlocks by itself or when you put your card in. Uh, and uh, Serenity says, we visit Las Vegas. I, again, community, uh, everybody knows each other. Um, and if you're new, say hello, and then everybody will know you. Uh, uh, but um, Serenity is telling Magpie, we visit Las Vegas only twice a year, and same people are stalking at Bellagio, hovering and glaring. That voodoo doesn't work on me. Uh, right, but uh, you can avoid all that by using the limits in the game rules. And then the, those... People are, that are stalking, they don't know about that. I mean, now I have this live stream and in a year I expect they will, a little, a few of them. But right now, not a one. Uh, I, I was sitting at um, checking the rules uh, at Atlantis yesterday and the director of slot operations, um, who I didn't recognize, I'd only talked to him on the phone, came up. So, so somebody, some guy came up and said, John? And I'm like, Yes. And he's like, oh, I watch your channel. I'm, I'm the director of slot operations at Atlantis Casino for Monarch uh, at Atlantis Reno. I'm like, okay. And and so it was an interesting conversation to have. He knows I have a YouTube channel. And and uh, he, uh, I, he was kind of doing a marketing thing. Um, oh, what's your next project? He was asking me. And, and it's all very nice and pleasant. But he was angling for me to maybe put a thousand dollars into one of their new games so that it would be advertised on my YouTube channel. And I'm like, uh, I thought you understood that I'm a, uh, uh, um, a, a educational channel and you're kind of talking to me like I'm one of the, any of the others, uh, uh, uh you know, entertainment entirely 100%. Uh, and I'm, I'm like, maybe he doesn't watch me. 
Um, maybe he's being persuasive. Um, again, I'm, I'm so much better with machines than I am with people, but just letting you know. Uh, and I was showed him some of this stuff, and, and he had a few things to say which were interesting, talking about going to conferences with a lot of casino employees who are also directors of slot operations at their casinos and, and that sort of thing. Not a place where I can get in because I don't have that kind of job. Uh, and uh, it was interesting, some of the stuff that he was telling me that would be coming out, and, and lots of new machines, so many new machines uh, in Reno uh, at at um, Atlantis, Pepper Mill. I mean, that was yesterday, for, uh, and I also went to uh, the downtown casinos that are owned by Caesars Properties. I again asked the senior executive host, may I record, please? Has that changed since I asked you six months ago? And he said, actually, if anything, it's gotten tighter. Um, and so, yeah, I, I didn't express my sympathies for the Caesars attack um, because he's probably heard enough of that. Um, but uh, it was nice to um, have a brief chat with the senior executive host at Caesars Property downtown Reno. Uh, they have one for all three, uh, Circus Circus, uh, Silver Legacy, and El Dorado. Um, Maggie? Hi, Maggie! Uh, <laughs> uh, Serenity says, thanks for the potty break tip, Magpie. Uh, CSX, uh, good afternoon to you. Um, uh, Shawana says, uh, is talking to, again, uh, if you have a question, put hashtag question at the beginning uh, and uh, uh, at the a comment, as you can see there. Also, um, uh, Larry was saying, you know, how do you, how do I donate? How do, how do I give you something? Um, you never talk about that. And so I, I, there's, uh, you know, there's a certain amount of money that, uh, um, uh, YouTube, uh, takes out as a fee. PayPal takes out as a fee. Um, but there are a couple of ways which are, there are no fees, which is to use Zelle, uh, which you might find in your banking. Uh, I have Zelle on my bank. And if you uh, send something to John at professorslots.com, uh, what you might do is just like send a dollar, uh, send me an email. Did you get it? And I'll be like, well, you know, I'll tell you the amount and let you know if I did get it. And then you can donate what you want. It just to, as a reassurance thing uh, or cash app. Uh, same thing at uh, dollar sign professor slots. Uh, these are a couple of uh, no fee uh, for you or me to use them. Uh, let's see. Uh, yes, that is true. There are some that uh, reach that number and they just stay there. The ones that are eight 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 dot eight 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 dot eight eight, you know, the, those I've seen that. But others are they, others they hit, as I showed in the data, as I showed in the Kashada data. It's here. They hit when they got to it. So you need to know. I mean, again, slot progressive jackpot specialists. I have to figure these things out, and it takes time. Uh, but no, the uh, it does not. I mean, this caps, this caps, this caps. Sure, that that may or may not. But for this one, they do not. They hit at twenty. They hit at forty. They hit seventy. They hit at two hundred. They hit at a thousand. They don't cap. No. Uh, and knowing the difference is part of being a slots specialist. Slot progressive jackpot specialist. Okay. Uh, thank you, Dylan. Uh, let's see. Um, comments back and forth for everybody. Uh, no, uh, Norma, the, the homework does not involve going to the casino. I mean, you don't have to go to the casino. Um, I would prefer you not spend any money until the course is finished because there's a lot going on. But it might be a good idea to go for a walk in your casino to look around because I'll talk about stuff that you need to look for. Yeah. Uh, and um, and you can... Uh, so it wouldn't if, if you don't live near it and if it's a long ways away, then you don't have to go during the course. Um, uh, and you can do that later. You can go to professorslots.com slash SL. 
You see that? Professorslots.com slash SL. Uh, and that will go to here. Uh, where you will see this sign up and uh, the purchase button is there. Let's see, make that 100%. Ah, that's not much better. Okay. Uh, and that's where you go. Linda, I hope you're doing well as, as well. Uh, um, I understand you have a trip coming up, uh, safe travels. Uh, question from Pinta Black. Are these machine progressives that must hit by bounce connected with similar game machines or are they dependent on one another within the casino? Independent. Um, so progressives, and, and I talk about this in, in the basics of how slot machines work, uh, they can have wide area progressives, which is across multiple casinos, usually within the state, like Megabucks in Nevada. Uh, and those are the like million dollar or $10 million, the smallest amount that you can win on the progressive, the top progressive on a Megabucks is 10 million. It drops to 10 million and it climbs from there. Uh, so there's uh, wide area progressives, but they're becoming less and less often because there's a lot of legal liability stuff going on. Uh, and uh, with those machines, yes. Uh, and, uh, but then there's those that are, uh, linked within the computer. I've talked to, uh, slot managers at casinos and I said, so do you have them linked on like one progressive machine would be linked to one on the other side of the casino? Like, no, no, no. He says, we, it's, that's too hard. We just, if they're side by side in the same carousel, in the same row, maybe on the back side of the same row, uh, maybe every other machine in a carousel that would have the same thing. But if you look at, uh, the progressives, and they increase together, then they're linked. And you can look around to see if there's five or seven. Because, yes, subtlety, one of the subtleties, uh, I threw you in the deep end of the pool, but I didn't throw you in the really deep end of the pool. Um, and that's what we do in Slot Slabs. Uh, if you uh, look at these numbers, uh, these uh, these wins, and let me just make sure I do this. Uh, before we go any further, uh, um, yes. Uh, thank you, uh, Texas Tootsie. Um, let me go a little step further. Uh, and okay, good, 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 good. Um, thank you. Uh, we had a advertiser. <laughs> um, uh, so those machines are linked, but. If you look at them, you can see how the progressives move together, okay? But some of the, let's say it has three progressives, four, grand, major, minor, mini. And they all go up, but only the major, or only the grand is connected. Um, I have photos, I have to dig it out, of a um, uh, progress, let's see, well, maybe I will pull it out. Um, uh, let's see, this would be, I think I have it here, uh, Huff and More Puff. And um, let's see here, this one, show you a picture here, should be, Yes. There you go. Huff and more puff. Let me make it big so you can read it. Oops. Come on. Got a big old mouse here. Okay. There we go. And I will increase the size. One, two, just a bit too much. Okay. You can see that, right? Um, Yes, you can see that. Well, I'll make myself a little small. Okay. The grand is $17,552.68 on both of these machines, side by side. Those are linked. Those are linked progressives on these two machines. But the major is $2,283.20 on this machine, but only $1,071.17 a sense on this machine. So the majors on this machine are not linked. 
So don't assume all progressives are linked if it's one of them is linked. These are these are details again uh, that uh, are important if you're uh, uh, a a specialist. Uh, takes a minute, like driving a car. You know, just <laughs> you know, you, you, there's a couple of things <laughs> that you need to know. Uh, uh, question: When you see a bank of machines that are close to a possible must hit buy, would you try to play all the open machines for five to ten pulls, or identify the most visible slot machine and spend there? Okay, so this is really the advanced stuff. Uh, Magpie's talking about. So uh, you know, just deep end of the pool, maybe a riptide. You know, you're out in the ocean. Um, you want to combine strategies, which you only maybe know about unless you're taking slots labs, which Magpie Eleven has. You would like to win the must hit buy, but any win will do. <laughs> so if it's if they're linked and one of them is highly visible and the other is not, combine your strategies and play the highly visible machine. Because before it gets to the must hit buy, you could win. And winning is winning. I think I explained that a little easier and faster than I, I thought I might. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, will casinos eventually steer away from older, low volatility machines? Uh, the one, uh, okay. Uh, Volatility is um, a uh, term that is used wrong. Uh, there are channels out there that just love volatility. They love the word. It makes them sound smart. And if you were to have had any statistics, not much less one for every for every college degree that I have, including doctorate, master's degrees, a couple of master's degrees, um, you would know that volatility doesn't mean that, what they say. Uh, and they actually sound stupid when they're trying to go for sounding smart. Volatility has to do with, uh, if you've ever studied any statistics, do you know what deviation is? Do you know what um, standard deviation is? Uh, it's the how far around an average number are the answers grouped. Volatility is how far around the average. Is it tight around the average or is it wide around the average? And the average, which is not volatility, standard deviation variance, the average is whether or not you're winning and not volatility. I don't know how to be any clearer than that. <laughs> Thoughts of fun. Don't confuse people. Also, in your opinion, is it better to go to a casino with a small bankroll and uh, efforts to build it up to X amount uh, or a dollar amount? Is it better to save a large bankroll and use the higher limit machines? Um, everybody, there's a perpetual myth out there. You can see it in the game rules. Uh, people say, well, Better, higher, better odds with higher denominations, which is just a perpetual myth. And it's just, I mean, let me take a second and show you that's not true. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. We go to uh, Professor Slots. Uh, go to Nevada, uh, just slash NV. Uh, that's abbreviation. Any state I have an article on, uh, professorslots.com, then the two-letter slash, the two-letter postal designation. Um, and then you can go to the, there's links here. There's a lot of casinos in Nevada. Uh, and you can go to the theoretical payouts and returns section where I talk about various things, but you can go to gaming revenue information at the uh, uh, state website for the gaming commission in Nevada. This is just one of the 20 states, uh, one of the seven states that have Return statistics by slot machine denomination. You, Colorado is great for this as well. And uh, you can go, uh, oh, it didn't do it. Um, let me go back to that link. I've got a lot going on with a live stream and it's a little slow. Um, let me see if I can manage this again. 
Emma. All right, let's think about that. Go there. Uh, ah, there it is. Okay, we're, we're, it's loading. Uh, service is unavailable. Wow. What the heck? The Nevada Gaming Commission website is down. <laughs> Uh, 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 here, let me show you the Nevada. So you can go to Nevada, um, professor slots.com slash NV. So I have internet access. You can go, uh, to the gaming revenue information. You click on that and the website is down. Well, we might be hearing about that more. Is it, is it an attack? Is it like the MGM seizures attack? Is the gaming commission on, um, a shut down? Why is it shut down? Uh, have to check back later today and see if it's uh, there. So, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, service is unavailable. My goodness. Well, hey, we're making news here. But you can see there that the higher denominations, one of them may be one of the best not all of them, not progressively with increasing denominations, uh, and but one of them could be the lower, uh, not high limit, uh, and but not penny slots, uh, and that's what we know. Um, oh, Roger, sorry, sorry, <laughs> um, uh, sorry, Larry, uh, Roger uh, uh, made the donation. My apologies. Uh, um, uh, open eyes said quest, um, uh, uh, Mareg, so I, I will, I'll come back to that. Um, uh, I hope I answered that question for you. I'm a little startled that, um, uh, the Nevada gaming commission is offline. <sighs> Didn't expect that question today. Mar Marango casino in California. Yes. has their grand opening uh, for a newly expanded high limit room. Are there better odds on such a day? Uh, If it's newly expanded, is that the same thing as new machines? Because the new machines are newly leased from the slot machine manufacturer and the contract with the slot machine manufacturer can often ask for better odds on high, and, and to be placed in highly visible areas. You can ask any slot tech, uh, uh, um, and uh, you know if if they've ever seen the the contracts. Uh, and so, in your expanded room, machines that are new, there you go. That's what you do. And and it's uh, any new machines are like that. Uh, and um, but th in in that room, I I would think that they had to add some in the, the new machines for a little while. For, for a little while, um, it's a contract expires uh, and then uh, reverts back to probably <laughs> trying to make that money back. Yeah. And Serenity is very help, says very helpful information. I'm I'm I'm, I'm glad uh, for you. Uh, yeah, that's that's right. The capped machines can uh, continue to accumulate and they add it to the next one after the capped one has been won and just to get it closer to the cap. Uh, yes, the uh, I I was showing Megan Cash, uh, and uh, this ten thousand here. The machine last night that I was on, uh, as it was like sixty two thousand, uh, climbing towards eighty eight thousand eight hundred eighty eight and eighty eight cents. The the major had already crapped it, uh, uh, capped at ten thousand. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear there. Freudian. Uh, it it was at ten thousand. Yeah, so that that'll cap. Yeah, but that's not every machine, uh, and uh, so these ones that have eight eights, eight eight eight, that those those you can just take it as a given that they'll cap. Yeah, but the others won't. And yeah, sorry, it's not easier. <laughs> you have to actually kind of like look and check and let somebody else win. The first time, uh, see if it capped, uh, and then after that, you're good to go. No. Thank you for the slides. Very helpful. Yeah, I've been trying to do more slides. 
uh, just to try to give you the visual. It does take a little effort, more effort. Uh, got up, uh, uh, what, let's see, six hours ago to start working on this. Today is my 221st live stream on YouTube for this channel. Yay. Uh, let's see. Lots of people commenting back and forth. Uh, very few progressives change by denomination. Uh, uh, and uh, it's, it, it, it's incredibly rare. You can change denomination, and and but but it does happen. But are they progressives? Well, are they are they you know what? It's it's it, there's there's circumstances with the progressive jackpot specialists will need to understand. There's caveats, and there's like this happens, and this happens, and this happens, and you sort of have to decide uh, and check and learn um, uh, because it's a crazy world out there and there's a lot going on. Yeah. Uh, right. Uh, okay. Um, so, uh, thank you so much for the, the donations. I, did I, 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 I'm not sure that I, uh, magpie, uh, thank you so much for your $20 donation. Uh, and I think I, uh, thank you so much. It's very much appreciated. Uh, and thank you for setting an example as well. Uh, and um, so, uh, great. Uh, that looks like it's all the questions. Uh, my voice is rough because I was a lot of casino smoke in my face, uh, secondhand smoke in my face yesterday. I and mean, I'm, 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 I can tell I need to drink some water. So uh, that's it. Uh, thank you so much. Um, uh, what a great live stream. I'll see you next Saturday. Uh, at noon Eastern. In the meantime, I highly recommend you watch this demonstration video at Legends Bay in Sparks, Nevada. Uh, talk to you later.